Hey guys, Chris Green here. Just want to make you guys a quick video showing you how I find items on Auction Ninja that you can flip online for a profit. Now, the way that I found some items today is I like to look for keyword Sony. I think it's a great brand. Uh, personally, I just like it. And sometimes I'll find things I just want to keep for myself. And as I did this, I stumbled across this item right here. Now I kind of know what this item is, but if you don't know what this item is, you can look it up using Google Lens built right into the Chrome browser. So this is a nine inch Sony Trinitron television. They're actually highly collectible. People would like to buy this off of eBay. And you can see right here, it actually has the exact model number in case you can't find it. But I want to show you how to use Google Lens. So if I right click here, I can say search image with Google, and it's going to bring it up right here on the side. It's going to tell me exactly what it is. It's going to tell me what it sells for online. You might be surprised and say, who is buying a little nine inch Sony Trinitron television? Well, don't worry about it. Just know that it sells for a good price online. You can see the model numbers over here, KV-9PT50. And just to be sure, let's go over and look up KV-9PT50. And you're going to see they have a bunch of them listed. And of course, that's just listed price. So let's go down and look at sold items. And you can see that, yes, it sells for a nice high price. Now, this is an item that is only in Colorado. It's in Fort Collins, Colorado. This uh, online estate sale does not ship. So you have to be close enough to pick this up. So I can't pick this up, but I'm happy to share this item in the Flips and Bolos Facebook group for anybody that is in Colorado. At the time that I posted this, there were no bids with 10 hours left. Uh, it has five bids now. It's up to $12 with an hour and 22 minutes left. And here's just the extra step that I think a lot of people kind of forget about. They say, oh, I found one item. I'm going to keep my eye on it. Well, what else do they have? Okay, like it might be worth contacting somebody if you know somebody in Colorado. So let's look through the rest of the items that they have because they might have some really cool stuff. They have one cool item. It might be that they have other cool items. So we can just scroll through here and we can use Google Lens over and over and over again every time we see something interesting. Like this sign right here, an old Admiral Color TV sign. Wait a minute, that looks like it might be interesting. Let's image search with Google. And we can find that, wow, there's not a lot of these things, but actually there's a little one here, $65, not a lot is coming up. I actually think this is, would be quite valuable. If you click on it, you can see that it's kind of got some size to it. It's got a clock on the back. It would be a little difficult to ship, but if you're close enough, I would definitely pick this up depending what it ends for. It's at $18 now with 13 minutes to go. I would expect you might be able to get three to $400 for that. Uh, if you listed it on eBay and waited around for the right buyer. You see they've got Mario Party. You could do Google Image there. Uh, they got a Game Boy system down here. Looks like they have some tools, uh, some DeWalt tools, iPads, iPods, Ryobi stuff. Uh, this should be an easy one to check. I think these probably go for about 30 or 40 bucks. An Alabama hat. Oh, even more. 65, 50, 45. Uh, oh, it's Nike too. Uh, I do like to have 40 per page instead of just 20 so I can see more items every time that I go to the next page to browse. See, they got a lot of tools here. Now, I used to be in the tool uh, industry. I know the Drill Doctor and, and all this, they're not going to be incredibly valuable. They're small handheld tools. They're about $40, $50 new. So to find them used, they're really just not going to be that valuable. Uh, you see, you can get them new at this price. It's really nothing I'm going to get too excited about. So what I'm looking for are things that stand out. Now, costume jewelry, even real jewelry, that's not especially a mine that I am going to look through. Um, I wouldn't know what to do with it. I wouldn't know if it's actually valuable from these pictures. But I'm scrolling through, and I might be missing some things, and that's okay. I'm looking for things that stand out. Now, I do like old TVs. I think this TV is going to be too old. But since it's so quick and easy, let's look it up real quick. It's a Panasonic CRT TV 1110 is the model number. Uh, it actually does look like it has some good prices online. Let's click through. Let's see if we can pull the exact model number off it, off it just to be sure. CT-1110B. CT-1110B. Was it three ones or was it four ones? Let's go back and double check. Three ones. 1110B. Uh, well, it has sold... Uh, at least this one has. Well, wow, it actually surprises me. I am surprised. I thought that one was not as valuable. Uh, so let's go back and look at the active ones. See if there are any active. I'm guessing there's not going to. Well, there is one uh, listed for a hundred and forty. Interesting. I would have passed over that one, thinking it was 
old, but just not that desirable. Uh, and I'm happy to learn. So now next time I see something like that, I'm probably going to stop. What price is on it right now? Probably very low. Yeah, $2. You either want these things or you don't. And they can be kind of a pain to ship. So you have to keep that in mind if it's something you're thinking about buying to resell or to flip. So what else looks interesting? Uh, this looks interesting. Hollow Scream Shaking Haunted Book. Now I could copy the image or the uh, description and do a Google search that way. It looks like it's on eBay for 50, maybe up to $100. It is out of season. Uh, definitely a Halloween item. And I wanna show you how to do this just in case you didn't know. Highlight any text and you can right click and search Google for that text. And we see some eBay listings here. It looks like it's $53 and it's sold. So what do they got on that? $9. So this might be a type of item, again, if you're local and you're already picking up some other items, you might as well just throw that in for another five or uh, nine bucks. Again, depending what price you get it for. These auctions are close to ending. So they might go up at the end. Uh, these auctions actually extend by five minutes if there is a bid in the last five minutes. Uh, I'm curious about this remote. I haven't seen this remote. A go video. It's going to pick up both. Let's make sure. Yeah, $13, $14. I've not seen that remote before, so I wanted to look it up just to be sure. Nothing stands out. Nothing too interesting. Oh, actually this. Uh, I am very confident that this is valuable. Because it's still in the package. Uh, so eBay is showing these at 40 and Amazon at 70 I'm pretty sure that those are going to be used. Let's double check. Uh, buy new. This is the new model. That's what it is. Uh, let's see what it says on eBay. This is the old model. Tested and working, but it's open box. So let's do one more search and do Logitech Harmony 650. And let's see if we can find uh, the most expensive ones because those are going to be the ones that are still factory sealed. Because this remote's been around for a while. I don't think they make it anymore. And you might think, who on earth is paying a premium for these? $200, $200, $200. Who's paying this if it's an old remote, if there's a newer model? Well, think about if you've got grandparents who finally you taught them how to program their remote and this is the only remote that they know, and they lose it or it breaks, whatever it might be, you want to replace it with the exact same one. And some people are not going to want to buy a used one. They're going to want to buy a new one. They're going to be happy that they can get a new one off of eBay. Now, not everybody's going to be willing to pay that price, but when you have enough potential customers, you're going to find someone that says, yes, I am willing. Thankfully, there's a brand new one. It might be that they want to replace it as a gift. And they don't want to give a used item. They really want to pay or get a new one. Who knows? Uh, but the market is what it is, and you can see the sold listings. And see what it sells for. So even if you're surprised, you're like, wow, I'm, I'm surprised. I would not have thought. Well, those are some nice flips that you can find. So let's look up this one. This is an old Sony Walkman WM-F100. And you see Google Match, or Google Images matches it right away. Uh, yeah, it looks like it sells for a nice pretty penny. And uh, It's not the original Walkman, but it is an early, early Walkman. Now we can, of course, just take this and paste it into eBay because the results that you see in Google Images over here aren't necessarily going to be sold, aren't necessarily going to be the highest price, lowest price, and you're necessarily looking for uh, you know, what is the actual market price? What are these things selling for? I'd say these things whew, right here, 200 bucks, it almost looks the exact same with the uh, very similar image with the, with the case. An hour to go, 36 bucks, so some people might have their eye on it. Uh, what is this? Oh, some TV amplifier. Uh, Tune Tote. I haven't seen that before, so let's look it up really quick. Tune Tote, 22 bucks. 60 bucks. Uh, or $2. So, inexpensive. Next page. And if you want to, you can go super slow and make sure that you don't miss anything. You can look up every single thing if you want to. Whatever this is, what is a rinse stand? Oh, skull shaver rinse stand. Uh, and what's this? A Garmin GPS. Sometimes these standalone GPS devices can be a little valuable. Yeah, this one might be. 
I'm going kind of quick. I'm not getting too serious about buying any of these things because I do not live in Colorado. And I don't have anybody close that I would bother with this at this point. Uh, some of these handheld games can actually be kind of valuable. Uh, Super Sawzall with a metal case. Which one is it? Some of them can be really good. It's like a little older model. These things were built. Oh, it's with a detachable cord. That is a nice model. Let's see how close it gets to the actual model number. They still do hold their value. Sawzall. Milwaukee made a good Sawzall. Uh, let's see. We got some plush. You can look through that plush using Google Lens. Uh, answering machine. Remember those? There's that TV that we looked at. Some more tools. This, I think, is worth a little bit of money. A sports Walkman. Uh, eh, 25. 25 and up. Uh, another TV. A little 2-inch TV. Those are really cool. I like some of these cool vintage electronics. Uh, another TV. Don't think this one is worth as much as the other one. I uh, don't think it has the Trinitron. Visual matches. $10. Yeah, not as interesting as the other one. A hockey table? Let's see if Google will find this. Yep. <laughs> Google Images is so good. That's big, though. That's really big. I wouldn't want to ship that. Uh, another TV? They had a lot of electronics. What is this? A, a two-stacked VCR? Wow, with a carrying case? They don't really make those anymore. Uh, oh, this is that matching thing. The Skull Shaver. I think these sell for about 100 bucks. Yeah, 120 130 It's at, what, $16 with an hour and a half to go? Uh, this one. I don't think Google Images is going to catch this. Let's actually read the box, which is possible. Wow, they found it. That's so good. The 9500i. Well, this is iX, so maybe they did go get a little bit wrong. So let's do this. Let's just highlight this text and use Google Search. And it's going to find it here on Amazon. We'll click on that. Let's see what it's selling for. There's no offers available. Well, we can take this and we'll just copy and paste it onto eBay. And wow, it's actually selling for over 150 bucks. These are all sold listings right here. So another item, let's see what it's selling for. 60 bucks. So that might be one of the more expensive items at this entire sale. But for 60 bucks, you could definitely make a profit on it. Although I probably wouldn't go all the way to this place just for this one item. It was the only item that you were going to win. What else? What else? This I don't think. Sometimes seasonal uh, decorations can be quite valuable. See, it picked up the hat right away, but I don't want the hat. So I'm actually going to drag this down to make sure that it gets the whole image. And have it update down here. So yeah, 21, 28. Not that valuable. Uh, this looks like an old radar detector. I can't imagine it's valuable, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta check. 30, 50, 20, yeah. Not as valuable as the other one. Next page. This is CC Radio Plus. I think they have a little, yeah, they have a typo here. CC Radeon Plus. Let's see what Google Lens says. 44, 51. Yeah, not too, nothing too exciting. A barrel Racer Cowboy Hat. Look at this old microwave. Ch -ch -ch. 
Again, you can be as thorough as you want. Another Sony Trinitron television. This is a bigger one. It's actually widescreen. Actually, let me see. Let me see if what this is worth. A Sony. Sometimes it's hard to find these exact ones because some of them look very, very close. You see they're bringing back a lot of different model numbers. Uh, does it give us any more information here? I don't think they took a picture of the back. It's an XBR Trinitron. That thing's going to be heavy. Works <laughs> heavy and large. Yes, it is. But it works. It's good they tell us that it works. Uh, is this the bamboo stuff? Actually, this stuff is under the radar. Uh, I don't know if Google Image will catch this, but this brass bamboo stuff. Yeah, here you go. Way under the radar. I don't see anybody talking about this stuff. I actually picked up a plant stand in brass bamboo. And you can see uh, vintage, mid-century, modern, gold, metal. Uh, one dollar. Are you kidding me? Someone's going to pick this up for a dollar. I think they're, they're showing that it's missing one cap, which I think you can see in the, this picture right there. But this would be the stuff I'd pick up and I'd just keep like, keeping extra caps and whatever. Uh, yeah. Way under the radar. So, easy bolo for you guys. Definitely be looking up uh, or looking for the brass bamboo uh, planters and tables and things like that. Some of these older toys can be valuable. If someone's got it listed for 50 but don't get too excited because someone else has it listed for 10 Um uh, Another one's different. Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious. Play school, little strummer, guitar. Look it up on Google. Let's see this eBay listing. Well, let's just look straight on eBay. Nope. I can't imagine this thing is that valuable. In the box, I can see that. Yeah, so one sold in the box. That's about it. Other than that, no, not too interesting. Spooky eyes. These can't be anything. I'm not sure eBay or no, oh, Amazon or uh, Google Lens still caught it, even though it's just three items sitting next to each other. Oh, another couple remotes gonna end for four bucks. Those will probably be, be worth picking up, even though they are open. Um, and I think I actually saw something on this last page I should have looked up. Yep, a vintage Playboy Bunny beer stein. Now, Google Images has been great, or Google Lens, from the small images. If you want a more detailed image, sometimes you got to click all the way through. Uh, 18, 25, yeah, nothing too exciting. Uh, I know there were some speakers here. Uh, here we are, yeah, I passed over these the first time. I don't think Google Lens is going to find these. Just because they look like everything else. Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm continually impressed. Even from these black squares with a little tiny logo down here. Uh, Google Lens got it. They put it right here. The, the Ditton 100. Uh, so let's see. I believe these things do so well on eBay. Yeah, 120. Or 130 sold. Let's see how many are actively listed right now. There's three results, a little higher. Uh, definitely something I would pick up. Again, if they end super low, what are they at right now? $21, so oh, three minutes to go. So uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on some of these listings, but I wanna make you guys a video showing you just how I personally go through these things. There were a bunch of things that, yes, you certainly could look up, but they looked common, they looked like even if you got them for a really great price, they're just not worth messing with. And that's kind of that last decision, that's step four in my four-step, uh, you know, kind of flow chart if I want to buy something. Yes, it's a flip. However, I don't want to mess with it. It's too far away. It's going to take too much trouble to get it. Uh, it's just not enough profit in it. It's going to be too difficult to ship it, whatever it might be. That's what you have to think of. So uh, use Auction Ninja. Find something that you're interested in. If there's something you're interested in at a sale, one item, and you're like, I can go pick that up, or you know, maybe I know somebody, that's when you look through the rest of them and say, hey, maybe there's something else I can get, pick up two, three, four, five items at one place,
give yourself a good deal, kind of average out a nice low price on everything. So I hope this helps. I hope you guys find some good items on Auction Ninja. Yep.